telling y'all right now, the country's gonna find out. Everything runs through love. The way Coach McGuire came in here and captured everybody, I've never seen a group of people play so hard for one person. It was it was actually incredible how how well and how hard we played for a first year head coach. No matter what happens, we just say what's next. That's all we do. Because you are built different. And the more and more you believe that, the more and more this happens. The thing I love about him is what you see on TV and in interviews and in the public is exactly what you get. Awesome guy, awesome to work for, a high energy. I mean, he kind of pulls the best out of each individual that's within this football program. We come out and we are the brand. That's who we are. We own who we are when the player coaches over. One of the first things we did uh, when it came to the vision of Coach McGuire when we got here is, you know, he, he introduced us to the brand and, you know, the player coach's oath and the plan to win. Dominate up front. Yeah. Run the football, stop the run, hit their quarterback, and protect ours. Shoot, this has probably been one of the most talented teams I've been on. Texas, it just really opened like, it, it, I wouldn't say open our eyes because we knew we were going to win that game. We didn't think it was going to come down to the game it was, but we had in our mind that we was going to win that game. Texas Tech fans are already halfway over the wall, completely around the stadium. They'll come swarming the field. This is for the win. Snap good, hold is good, and the kick is good! Trey Wolf has done it again! He gave him the lead at the end of regulation. He gives him the win in overtime. That really showed that it didn't matter who we were playing, that we could play with anybody in the country. After Iowa State, after Oklahoma, I think it was just like, you know, I mean, this is what we're supposed to do. You know, it doesn't really matter who we're playing. I feel like this is what we can do every single week. So, you know, whenever we found out we were playing Ole Miss, it was just, all right, let's go to work. Us being able to win those two games, starting Big 12, playing in and in really gave us a lot of momentum going into the bowl game. Quarterback prep going into that game, uh, you know, we felt really good with where Tyler had gone those last three games as a starter and, and felt really good with, about him moving into Ole Miss. There was no nervousness, there was no, nothing to shy at. I think that was just really Coach McGuire's message of, you know, we're going to go out there and put the brand on display. I was really excited whenever they picked us to go to the Texas Bowl because I knew you know, the NRG would be just a southeast version of Jones AT&T. We're talking about two teams that uh, have a lot of respect across the country because of the logo they wear. There's going to be a fight tonight. Make them make a decision if they want to be in it. Mm -hmm. By how physical we play. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. How physical we play. Tell them we're ready for war. The first child we made it through obstacles, promise we've been through it all. So then that we can survive the impossible promise, we won't take a loss. Looking invincible, feeling unstoppable, stronger than ever before. Had to move forward, continue to strive. What does it take for one to survive? Bit of some strength, bit of some pride. Lessons you need for staying alive. Started up broken, but we made the tools. Breaking the laws, cause we made the rules. No longer living like nothing's to lose. We live it like we got something to prove. so much y'all fought your tails off I'm so proud of the win we put the brand on display tonight we put the brand on display tonight and in the season on a four game win streak shows how much those guys care about each other really the first um, 
word that comes to mind is love. You know, I don't think you can have the buy-in that they had, the buy-in that happens so quickly if you don't love and care about each other. And, um, you know, guys that are coming back, they're going to keep building that. But the guys that left and are moving on, um, I can't thank them enough. How do you bridge the gap? We've got to get bigger, we've got to get faster, we've got to get stronger. And then we go into spring football and, and we compete. You can't be the brand and say you're the toughest, hardest working, most competitive team and then just think something's going to be given to you. And so um, we're going to be ready to go.